This is my circuit to test the 74LS47. It's a VCD to 7 segment decoder and we're going to use it to drive this 7 segment display here. It's a common anode 7 segment display. You can't use the common cathode display for this particular for this particular display driver. Um, here's my circuit. I have my voltage regulator which regulates my voltage to 5 volts. I have my four uh, switches. These are going to be my BCD inputs. Uh, this is ones, twos, fours, and eights. So I can get any combination between zero and fifteen with the with the with these with these switches. Now, because it's a seven-segment decoder, the maximum sim the maximum range of symbols we have is zero to nine, and we have a dot as well that I haven't wired in this example. So here's the seven four LS four seven. Just take care in the data sheet you can see that from my particular configuration I had to wire pins 3, 4 and 5 had to be connected all together and all connected to the uh, plus VCC. Uh, this pin is connected to VCC, the last pin, and uh, pin, pin 8 is connected to ground. Uh, the remainder of the pins are the input pins from the switches which are in pull down configuration and also then I have these colourful wires here which are the are the wires that run to the uh, seven segment display. Um, with the seven segment display just be careful you have to have the, um, the the middle pin on both sides, there's five pins on both sides, the middle pin on both sides because it's common anode all of the anodes of these LEDs are connected together uh, and these then have to be connected directly to uh, VCC. So in this case, it just so happens in the if I look at the diagram of this particular of this particular seven second display, this pin, the middle pin on this side, and the middle pin on this side are tied together. Okay, the remainder of the pins then each then are connected to uh, one of the individual segments on the display. Um, so uh, in this particular case, this pin here is connected to this segment. This one is connected to this segment. This one is connected to this segment, and this one here is connected to the middle segment. Similarly, on this side. We have the first, the first pin is connected to this segment, second pin to this segment, uh, the next pin is connected to this segment, and the last pin is connected to the dot, uh, with the exception of the two middle pins as previously stated. So that's the, the wiring of the, of the seven second display, you can see that in the diagram. Just to show you now that this, this operates as we would expect. Okay, so here's, here's my circuit, I'm just about to power it. Just one other thing just to mention before I go on, is make sure that you have a resistor, an appropriate resistor value connected um, between to each of the pins that you want to drive. Um, if we just use a single pin, a uh, single resistor, we saw this before, if we use a single resistor to drive and connect that to high for the common anode, well you would see that depending on the number of segments that are lit on the display, the display intensity would fluctuate. So for example, if you were to light one, it would only use two of the segments, it would be very bright, but if you use all eight segments, then it, it would be significantly dimmer. Uh, this configuration means that no matter how many uh, segments are lit, they'll all have approximately the same uh, brightness, uh, and we'll, we'll see that in operation in a second. Um, that's it, so I'll just, I'll just uh, power it in. So here I've uh, connected the power, and hopefully you can see that uh, the way the with the data sheet, the way that I've chosen it to work is that I want to display a zero when all of the inputs are zero. That's the way I want it to behave. I think you have an option like that on the data sheet, and now I can get my numbers. So uh, BCD one, I can press this digit here, and that's uh, that's uh, gives me a BCD one, which gives me a one displayed in a seven second display. Two is by pressing this pin gives me a 2 displayed. If I join two pins together I'm getting BCD input of uh, 0011 which is 3 and you can see that displayed. 4, 0100 gives me a, a display of 4. Uh, semi 5 is the first and, and the second one and the last one which is 0101 which is BCD value 5. Middle 2 is 6, 0110. 7 is 0111 which is 7. 8 on its own is 8 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is um, 1 0 0 0 which gives us 8 displayed and finally if I press this one and this one I get 9 and then back to 0. Um, obviously there are more combinations and the data sheet allows for a set of symbols to be displayed so for example if we go to 10 press 8 plus 2 is 10 you see we get this symbol here displayed. Uh, 8 plus 2 plus 1 is 11 uh, we get this displayed um, 
8 plus uh, 4 is 12, we get that displayed. Uh, 13, we get that displayed. Um, uh, and, and so on. So 14, uh, 14, uh, we get that. And then 15 is when all of the buttons are pressed at the same time. We get complete blank. And that's, that's what's designed in the data sheet. And that's what's designed to appear. So that's the use of the, uh, the, the uh, BCD inputs and you can see that it drives the 7 second display very well and um, it, it, it's a very useful circuit for, it's a, a very useful IC rather for, for driving such a display. Again remember I said this is a common anode 7 second display. If you want to drive a common cathode 7 second display well then you need to use a 7.4 LS48 uh, and that drives a common cathode display. Um, I actually plugged in a common cathode display in this to see what would happen and what happens is you in effect you get the exact opposite of what you want. The segments, uh, if you were to use a common cathode display with a 7447 you would get the segments and it would be stuck with this wiring, I don't think there's any solution to it. The segments that you want to light are off so in the case of zero the middle section would be lit. If I wanted one, everything except for the one, the, one, the segments that are lit there will be lit and so on. Uh, finally, this display uh, has a maximum rating of um, 2.5 volts at 20 milliamps on any one of the segments. You need to choose a suitable resistor value for this. It's probably 125 ohms. Um, if we're using it for a short period, the 100 ohm resistor in our kit is fine to drive this display.